we're asked at how many points did the graph of y equals sine of theta and y equal cosine theta intersect for theta between 0 and 2 pi. And it's 0 is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. So we're going to include 0 and 2 pi in the possible values for theta. So to do this, I've set up a little chart for theta, cosine theta, and sine theta. And we can use this to, and the unit circle to hopefully quickly graph what the graphs of y equals sine theta and y equals cosine theta are. And then we could think about how many times they intersect and uh, maybe where they actually intersect. So let's get started. So first of all, just to be clear, this is a unit circle. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Over here, we're going to graph these two graphs. So this is going to be the y-axis. And it's going to be a function of theta, not x, on the horizontal axis. So first, let's think about what happens when theta is equal to 0. So when theta is equal to 0, you're at this point right over here. Let me do it in a different color. You're at this point right over here on the unit circle. And what coordinate is that? Well, that's the point 1, 0. And so based on that, what is cosine of theta when theta is equal to 0? Well, cosine of theta is 1, and sine of theta is going to be 0. This is the x-axis at the point of intersection with the unit circle. This is, this is, sorry, this is the x-coordinate at the point of intersection with the unit circle. This is the y-coordinate. Let's keep going. What about pi over 2? So pi over 2, we are right over here. What is that coordinate? Well, that's now x is 0, y is 1. So based on that, cosine of theta is 0. And what is sine of theta? Well, that's going to be 1. It's the y-coordinate right over here. Now let's go all the way to pi. Now let's go to all the way to pi. We're at this point in the unit circle. What is the coordinate? Well, this is negative 1, 0. So what is cosine of theta? What's well, the x-coordinate here, which is negative 1. And sine of theta is going to be the y-coordinate, which is 0. Now let's keep going. Now we're down here at 3 pi over 2. If we go all the way around to 3 pi over 2, what is this coordinate? Well, this is 0, negative 1. Cosine of theta is the x coordinate here. So cosine of theta is going to be 0. And what is sine of theta going to be? Well, it's going to be negative 1. And then finally, we go back to 2 pi, which is making a full revolution around the circle. We went all the way around. And we're back to this point right over here. So the coordinate is the exact same thing as when the angle equaled radio, <laughs> equals 0 radians. And so what is cosine of theta? Well, that's 1. And sine of theta is 0. And from this, we can make a rough sketch of the graph and think about where they might intersect. So first, let's do cosine of theta. When theta is 0, and let me, let me draw, let me mark this off. So this is going to be when y is equal to 1, and this is when y is equal to negative 1. So y equals cosine of theta. I'm going to graph, let's see, theta equals 0, cosine of theta equals 1. So cosine of theta is equal to 1. When theta is equal to pi over 2, cosine of theta is 0. When, th when theta is equal to pi, cosine of theta is negative 1. When theta is equal to 3 pi over 2, cosine of theta is equal to 0. That's this right over here. And then finally, when theta is 2 pi, cosine of theta is 1 again. Is 1 again. And the curve will look something, will look something like this. My best attempt to draw it. Make it a nice, smooth curve. So it's going to look something, something, something like this. The look of these curves should look somewhat familiar at this point. So it should look something like this. So this is the graph of y is equal to cosine of theta. Now let's do the same thing for sine theta. When theta is equal to 0, sine theta is 0. When theta is pi over 2, sine of theta is 1. When theta is equal to pi, sine of theta is 0. When theta is equal to 3 pi over 2, sine of theta is negative 1. Is negative 1. When theta is equal to 2 pi, sine of theta is equal to 0. And so the graph of sine of theta is going to look something, something like, something like this. My best attempt at drawing it is going to look something like this. 
So just visually, we can think about the question. At how many points do the graphs of y equals sine of theta and y equals cosine of theta intersect for this range for theta, for theta being between 0 and 2 pi, including those two points? Well, you just look at this graph. You see there's two points of intersection, this point right over here and this point right over here, just over the between 0 and 2 pi. These are cyclical graphs. If we kept going, they would keep intersecting with each other. But just over this 2 pi, just over this 2 pi range for theta, you get two points of intersection. Now let's think about what they are, because they look, they look to be pretty close between, between right between 0 and pi over 2 and right between pi and 3 pi over 2. So let's look at our unit circle if we can figure out what those values are. Let's, it looks like it looks like this is at pi over 4. So let's verify that. So let's think about what these values are at pi over 4. So pi over 4 is that angle, or that's the terminal side of it. So this is pi over 4. Pi over 4 is the exact same thing as a 45 degree angle. So let's do pi over 4 right over here. So we have to figure out what this point is, what, that, what the coordinates are. So let's make this. Let's make this a right triangle. It's a right triangle. And so what do we know about this right triangle? And I'm going to draw it right over here to make it a little clearer. This is a very top, typical type of right triangle, so it's good to get some familiar, familiarity with it. So let me draw my best attempt. All right, so we know it's a right triangle. We know that this is 45 degrees. What is the length of the hypotenuse? Well, this is a unit circle. It has radius 1, so the length of the hypotenuse here is 1. And what do we know about this angle right over here? Well, we know that it, it too must be 45 degrees, because all of these angles have to add up to 180. And since these two angles are the same, we know that these two sides are going to be the same. And then we could use the Pythagorean theorem to think about the length of those sides. So using the Pythagorean theorem, knowing that these two sides are equal, what do we get for the length of those sides? Well, let's call these. This, if this has length a, well then this also has length a. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem. And we could say a squared plus a squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared is equal to 1. Or 2a squared is equal to 1. a squared is equal to 1 half. Take the principal root of both sides. a is equal to the square root of 1 half, which is the square root of 1, which is just 1 over the square root of 2. We can rationalize the denominator here by multiplying by square root of 2 over square root of 2, which gives us a is equal to, in the numerator, square root of 2. And in the denominator, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So this length is square root of 2, and this length is the same thing. So this, this length right over here is square root of 2 over 2, and this height right over here is also square root of 2 over 2. So based on that, what, are, what is this coordinate point? Well, it's square root of 2 over 2 to the right in the positive direction. So x is equal to square root of 2 over 2. And y is where square root of 2 over 2 in the upwards direction, in the vertical direction, the positive vertical direction. So it's also square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of theta is just the, is just the x coordinate. So it's square root of 2 over 2. Sine of theta is just the y coordinate. So you see immediately that they, do in, they are indeed equal at that point. So at this point, they are both equal to square root of 2 they're both equal to square root of 2 over 2. Now what about this point right over here, which looks right in between pi and 3 pi over 2? So that's going to be, so this is pi, this is 3 pi over 2. It is right, it is right over here. So it's another pi over 4 plus pi. So pi plus pi over 4 is the same thing as 4 pi over 4 plus pi over 4. So this is the angle 5 pi over 4. So this is 5 pi over 4. So this is equal to 5 pi over 4. So that's what we're trying to figure out. What, is the, what are the value of these functions at theta equal 5 pi over 4? Well, there's multiple ways to think about it. You can even use a little bit of geometry to say, well, if this is a 45 degree angle, then this right over here is also a 45 degree angle. You could say that the reference angle in terms of degrees is 45 degrees. And we could do a very similar thing. We can draw a right triangle. We know the hypotenuse is 1. We know that if this is a right angle, this is 45 degrees. If that's 45 degrees, then this is also 45 degrees. 
and we have a we have a triangle that's very similar it's actually a, they're actually congruent triangles so hypotenuse is 1 45 45 90 we then know that the length of this side is square root of 2 over 2 and the length of this side is square root of 2 over 2 the exact same logic we used over here so based on that based on that what is the coordinate of that point well let's think about the x value it's square root of 2 over 2 in the negative direction. We have to go square root of 2 over 2 to the left of the origin. So it's negative square root of 2 over 2. This point right over this top this point on the x-axis is negative square root of 2 over 2. What about the y value? Well, we have to go square root of 2 over 2 down in the downward direction from the origin. So it's also negative square root of 2 over 2. So sine of it's cosine of theta is negative square root of 2 over 2. And sine of theta is also negative square root of 2 over 2. And so we see that we do indeed have the same value for cosine of theta and sine of theta right there. They are both equal to, they are both at that point equal to the negative, the negative square root of 2 over 2.